These dogs and cats and frogs on the shelf aren't for sale, they work in show business. Think of them as stunt doubles and stand-ins for the animal stars. How our stuff is shot is uh, live animals, fake animals, live animals, fake animals. And our work will do the stunts, uh, we'll do some of the special effect things, a paw that comes up like this. This bear was the stand-in for the real bear in the film Legends of the Fall. Oh, here's a little swimmer that opened up Lake Placid. Animal makers also did the frogs for the Budweiser commercial. <laughs> Bolden says his fake animals keep the real ones out of harm's way, and if a script comes in... If it glorifies harm to animals, we don't do it. His animals often work in conjunction with computer-generated animals, and his styled and sculpted creatures provide something the computer images can't. There's energy that happens between the puppeteer and the performer. I mean, there's a synergy that happens there that's different than with the computer graphics. I've got to carry the whole performance. <laughs> you know, there's a little juice there, you know? Yeah, you. Yeah, you're gorgeous. Yes, you are. This eagle starred in the film Almost Heroes. And this hummingbird in a shampoo commercial. He was only used for the one commercial so far. We've had, you know, there's, I'm sure there's not a lot of hummingbirds out there, so hopefully we'll be able to get him working again. And this is what happened when a real chicken met his stand-in. Well, we've seen some of that with human actors as well. This alligator was the star of a TV commercial for a skin lotion. He hasn't worked in a feature film. Then again, not to say he couldn't carry a big screen story. Gloria Hillard, CNN Entertainment News, Los Angeles.